Well, good evening, everyone, and this is the August meeting of the Board of Directors of the Harlan Community School District. Welcome, everybody. Uh, the board, I know I can speak for the community and say that uh, I know the community appreciates everything that uh, the board's doing, and the administrators as well. And, uh, we appreciate all you're doing, and we're glad to have visitors, at least one or two. <laughs> and so, here we go. Uh, we start August 15th with the agenda, and so we call the meeting to order, and uh, as far as determining the uh, quorum, I guess we have all attendees, except for Al, he's at a meeting in Des Moines, and I believe Bonnie's in Des Moines too with something, but we do have the quorum, so I think we can call uh, the meeting to order then. Catherine? Okay, with that, she's shaking her head, and this is a public forum, so uh, we do encourage citizens to have a voice, uh, uh, do we have anyone this evening before I need to read the rest of this part of it? Nobody. Nobody this evening, so we'll go on to uh, the agenda, approval of the agenda. Any discussion about the agenda? I'll move to approve the agenda. Okay, thank you, Joe. Second. Second by Joni. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Okay, uh, item D, discussion items, and here we'll turn it over to Superintendent Barnett. Okay, um, well, we have Casey, our new high school principal, is here. I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about anything going on at the high school right now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just talk. getting ready for teachers to start. Uh, new teachers start tomorrow, and everybody starts Wednesday. Um, I have freshman orientation and new student, student orientation on next Monday, and then kids start next Tuesday, so to have class meetings and and have uh, after all the kids come through and meet me and get to know me and some expectations and <laughs> things like that and then um, just schedules and getting all the all the beginning of the year stuff put together so bill yeah uh, echo about the same thing uh, we've got two different orientations going on this week on um, Wednesday it'll be for all new students to the district kids that were not going to the Harlan Community School District last year and then on Thursday we'll have kind of an open house from 3 to 6 for anyone that wants to come in and find their locker and try their locker combination and put any school supplies away or kind of walk through their schedule they're welcome to do that during that time and we're following the same um, PD schedule with uh, the high school in terms of getting all staff back on Wednesday, associates and, and teachers, and, and uh, Thursday as well, and then getting kids back here next Tuesday. So it's good. We've got a lot of new faces coming in to, for new students to the middle school, so we weren't going to school in Heartland last year. 28, and I think. 28. Wow. So that was That weren't here at all. That weren't yeah. here at all. Sure. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Pretty much across the board, K through 12. That's just six. Oh, that's just his building. Yeah. So we lost the high school has eight, eight. lost a lot of minus four, eight twenty-eight. Thirteen new students. Thirteen. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So Thirteen at the high school, and then elementary. I'm not sure, Jeff. Jeff and Ann are in an IEP meeting right now, so they weren't able to come. So. Um, I do know that the open houses for the high school. Bill said his is Thursday. The high school and the um, elementary school are on the 22nd. 22nd. Mm -hmm. And yours starts at 4.30? 4.30 to 6.30. And the elementary, I think, is 5, 5 to 6.30 6 or something. Yeah. So they're on a couple different nights, if anybody's interested. Uh, and then just from a district perspective, all of the special ed teachers were uh, got some training last week. There's 20 of us. There's a new IEP system that's they're having to transfer over to so that we have this year to transfer all the IEPs to the statewide this new statewide system so there'll be some bumps but I think it'll be more efficient for and it will be better for parents because they can see it live like it's kind of more like power school where you could see automatically if uh, progress the progress monitoring and pieces like that if your student has an IEP so um, lots of activities and camps and things have gone on in the last, I mean there have been tons and tons of kids rolling in and out of here. Um, teacher lead teams have been planning, uh, as Bill said, there's we have a new 6-12, so grade 6 through 12 leadership team, so that's been, been going well I think it sounds like. Yep. And Steve Savane is, is helping with that too. Uh, 
And then on the 17th, I just wanted to invite you guys to in the morning, we'll have a breakfast that's provided by the Chamber of Commerce, which is nice. They are in from 7.45 to 8.15, teachers will have breakfast, and then 8.15 to about 9.15, we'll have a, a presentation to all staff. So every, every staff member from the district will be in there. And um, so if you're, you're welcome to come, and we'd love to have you. We are gonna go over the facility information presentation with all staff, just to make sure everybody's got the same information. Um, we've done it several times, but just to make sure Everybody understands what's going to go on the ballot. So that's it. The uh, new students, uh, where are the, they coming from? From out of town? Um, or? I mean, as far away as we have some coming from Texas, we have some coming from Minnesota, some coming from Illinois, Nebraska. Yeah. Other Just districts also? <laughs> other districts too, yeah. yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, could I make a comment? Sure. Uh, uh, Dr. Burnett went to a school administrators of Iowa uh, meeting, and uh, I have a nice letter here from Dana Schoen, who I said I would uh, share with you, and uh, she said that uh, Dr. Burnett was on this panel the first 90 days and was very contributory toward the uh, toward the meeting. It was very beneficial for uh, those that attended. So I said I, uh, she gave her a very nice compliment that uh, I wanted to pass on to, to the board. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll move on to uh, the e-action items, and the first one here is the personnel report. <coughs> oh gosh. So, <laughs> as you can see, um, we have had a couple of resignations, but that's just um, like coaching resignations, and um, Dee in, in the kitchen wants to step down from kitchen manager to cook. So we hadn't, we didn't really lose uh, any headcount, just um, kind of some extra duties uh, that they were assigned to. Uh, we hired a new student navigator, Brenda Renter. She was currently an SBI for us and does wonderful things for our students. And we, um, uh, she's with the AEA. And so we brought her over. She's gonna be working for us directly. Um, and I think we talked about maybe this last time, but Connie Schreckinger, we, she got her licensure and is going to be a SPED teacher for us. Um, we hired Paula Boffman as a special education teacher in the middle school. Katie Tigerson. Thank you. She is currently, last year was a paraeducator for us and has a um, license. And so she's going to help us out uh, with a last minute resignation that we got. So she's going to come and be an interventionist for us. And um, so then there's some more movement. Um, and then Davis is going to coach middle school football for us this year. <laughs> so that'll be great. Um, uh, I forget, a student navigator, what, what is that? What's, what is that? So do you want to, do you want to talk about that? So yeah, we, it's, yeah, we, a student we renamed, navigator. So we renamed Connie's Connie's position was a school-based interventionist, but we also have a school-based interventionist through the AEA, so it was kind of confusing. So we renamed it, and I'll let Casey talk more. <laughs> okay. So um, Brenda is working with students, like with student behavior, um, working as like a manager of some administrative duties. Um, she's working with our paraeducators and um, just helping with some of the administrative duties like within the school. Just in the high school or in, the high, school? in yeah. high school? Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. So, so it's so behavior or some of the Okay. Just sort of change, change the name so it wouldn't be confusing. Okay. So yeah. yeah. So it's just yeah. a movement to her yeah. position. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Title. Title. All right. Thank as, you. And as you can see, we have some classified openings, coaches, sponsors. We're still, we're really close on cooks, you guys. I'm feeling good. I wasn't feeling very good last time, but we're good <laughs> on cooks. Um, we have a few more teacher associates. And then the others are um, volleyball or, or coaches. And then we have some offers that are pending for drivers. So. We're getting there. Um, we still have two certified openings, but uh, it's not likely that we'll get those hired um, before maybe December when we have some graduates coming out. So that's a personnel report. Any questions? Is there any of these areas that we're particularly kind of hurting on or being 
wish you could fill? I wish I could fill <laughs> all of them, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> um, but well, current, concerning right now are maybe our, our drivers because we've just gotten some new ones kind of coming into the district, so we had to open up a new driving position, and um, I think we're we'll, we'll make do, but we really need those drivers. So and and hopefully then, the offers will come through. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, those. Yeah, we just need to get background checks and things like that mm -hmm. first. So, yeah. Yep. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like to make a motion? I'll move to approve the personnel report. Second. Okay. Okay. Making a motion and Greg seconding. Mm -hmm. so all those in favor say aye. 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 And those opposed nay. Next we have E2, which is the approval of the fuel bid. <laughs> I'm just curious, who, who was it last year? Farm Service Corps. For, okay. Uh, okay. Any questions or discussion about that? So one of the questions was, if fuel goes down, are we able to, do you want to talk yeah, about that? Well, essentially. They, they bid it based upon a given day, but much more unlike last year when it went up, you, you aren't locked into these prices. It's based upon a difference between the state, the statewide procurement and this. So they're basing it upon that. So if it goes down and obviously the statewide procurement price goes down, these prices will go down too. Much like they as well as did just goes up, like last year. Up. Yeah. Did, did you use the same service last year from Service Co-op? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, Jared, Jared really likes the work they do because they he doesn't have to call the automatic fills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and we've never had anybody that's really not been good service, but mm -hmm. he really likes this because they check the tanks and he never asked to call them. Mm -hmm. Other comments? So could we have a, a motion to approve the field bid? So moved. So moved by Joni and a seconded True. by Joe. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed nay. Okay, next item is on the action item is E3 Approval Nutrition Service Consultant Contract. Is this new? So, yeah, do you want to go? Yes. Yes, you want to go? You can go ahead. I'll, I'll throw it in. We've talked a little bit about this already. With um, <coughs> Jenna Shaben was the Food Nutrition Services Director before Ellen. And we have, um, we'd like her help in making sure that some of our dot, our T's are crossed and our dots, our I's are dotted. <laughs> we know what you mean. Yes, thank you. And so um, we are going to use her services for two years. She's basically going to come in once every, every other week. Every other week. Really. And just kind of. The big thing is, is there's so many compliance issues within a food service program and honestly we don't have anybody on staff right now that really understands the compliance and for lack of a better way of putting it she's kind of going to be our compliance officer mm -hmm. on that point does it take certain credentials to to be able to call yourself a consultant uh there's not too bad not really but she she's a registered dietitian too i see so i mean and she's also been through these wars before there are certain credentials you have to meet to be a food service director. Ah, I see. Which we have in Catherine. Yeah. So she, then she, she'll, Catherine will learn from Jenna. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. go from there. Yeah. Yes. Well, Jenna's that's a good. nice girl. Mm -hmm. She's wonderful for helping us. <laughs> that's kind of nice that um, she can take this part of the responsibilities and let, yeah do the paper part of it and the state reporting or whatever. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any more discussion? Would someone like to make a motion to approve the Nutrition Service Consultant contract? So moved. 
So moved by Joe, second. I'll second it. We've got a second by Jade. All those in favor say aye. 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 And those opposed, nay. Okay, we're to action item E4, approval of special education contract with Alpha School Nebraska Human Services Agency. I think maybe Joe even had a comment about this or a question. Uh, well, I asked um, why, well, I contacted Jenny yeah. about why um, we would um, work with an agency in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. and I, I, so we do that because we there's a limit as to how far you can travel in a car as a student with an IEP. So Omaha is closer than Des Moines. Plus, it also depends on who has programming that would fit um, a specific child's needs based on their IEP. So Alpha School does more on the behavioral side. So sometimes we we send. Actually, this student is is transitioning back. So probably we'll be back within the next year, and then. We won't have to take him, so he's doing really well. So, uh, but with, we were talking earlier, we have students that are going to be transported to Children's Square in Council Bluffs, possibly Heartland, which is in Council Bluffs and Omaha, Boys Town, which is in Omaha, and then Alpha School. So, uh, just based on the IEP team's decision making process as to the programming that we can provide or not provide for the I'm students. I'm going to go off site. How many? Well, that's that's five right there, <laughs> and we actually uh, had two transfer in from another district who were already placed there. So one was already at Children's Square, one was already at, at Boys Town. So usually, if they haven't transitioned back, then they're not quite ready to come come back. So uh, so these aren't long term. <coughs> not usually. Sometimes they could be, but yeah. We, we we do a really good job special ed wise with with a lot of things, but we just aren't most <coughs> most districts our size have to still um, have students go out a little bit because you don't you just you, um, bigger districts might have an autism program, so they have three different autism uh, classrooms. They might have an elementary, a middle, and a high school, so those kids can get specific um, their specific needs met in that classroom. We don't we don't necessarily have the number of kids to have that so it's either you hire a teacher and have a program and if we did that Jay then other districts around us would probably come to us sure. too so there's good there's you know there's ways to possibly a dumb question <laughs> but so is that why like the sped deficit changes mm -hmm. so frequently because we get yep. different kids and then their needs change and they have to go it's your mix of children your mix of funding it's and then you don't really have any control over that because it's a federal, the IEP is a federal document and right. you have to do what the team says. So that's why you can go in the red in a, on, that's yeah. the only thing you can go in the red in is special ed. Mm -hmm. Not that you, you want to, right, but, you but you have to because it's. So it's a little hard to plan for some of them. Very mm -hmm. hard. Precisely. Yeah. Yes. We literally just found out about the two that are yeah. coming in. So you got to hire drivers and you got to. Mm -hmm. See, so they're I, coming. I say that was a good question. That was a great uh, question. question. Well, we're Wasn't one for 25. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to vote on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the agenda. Yeah. Um, so the two that are coming in, they're from a different school district that are open and rolling? So no, they're no. not open. Well, no. that's the other thing. If they open it, if you, if you open and roll, we, we will, if we don't have the program, we don't have to accept them. Okay. The, roll. Mm -hmm. the two that are moved in, both like live physically moved in. They both oh, okay, yeah, okay. Moved to Harlan. Okay. So there are yep. Okay. Residential. You mentioned IAP decision making. Mm -hmm. What is that IAP? So an IEP is an individualized IEP. individualized education plan. So a student uh, who receives special education, special education. So you have a, a committee that. Well, it'd be the parent and the teacher, and then the administrator, and then there's a general ed teacher on that team, and then whoever else, maybe the parent might want to bring an advocate. Nice. So you decide um, as a team. Um, Is the administrator the principal normally? Or? Lots of times, yes. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you know, Jay, to be honest with you, you, you know, you talk about how it affects your special education, it affects your vehicle purchases. And gas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that affects. 
Yeah, I can see that. Because you might not need, I mean, we need five this year, but we might That'd be why you have to be able to go right on it, because mm -hmm. sometimes it's the reason you have yeah. to buy a vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> we force you into the red. Yeah. But that's federally mandated, right? IEPs, it's not state. It's federally. It's federal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, there's state. There's state as well, but it's a federal document. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. So we, we IDEA. Have the, we have the IEP on a recent, fairly recent uh, uh, policy <coughs> review because I had some questions mm -hmm. on what that IEP was. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find it, but I'm not quick enough to find it. And, and that's tied to the SPED on the budget, is that mm -hmm. the connection? Mm -hmm. okay. those, those are the same, yeah. Lots of acronyms to tie to. <laughs> yeah, special, <laughs> that's special, yeah. And you do get different funding based on the levels of the students. So a level one student might be in all general ed classes and just need a little assistance keeping organized or a little reading or math, a tutoring, or, and you, you get a little bit more than the, the student. Then you, like if you get seven thousand dollars per student, you get one point seven two times that student, so you get a little more. A level two student, two point four, and a level three is a three point seven two. Huh. What so, would you say the percentage of IEPs are in our district? Percentage of kids on one? Is it we're, high? Uh, well, we're lower than the state average. The state average is around seventeen, eighteen percent, sixteen, seventeen, and we are at about thirteen or fourteen, maybe even twelve. I'm not sure. We're, we're lower than the, the state average. Um, but most of them are housed here for the majority. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you see them in the younger grades or the older grades? The majority. Uh, you can exit yourself from an IEP as well. I mean, you can exit from an IEP mm -hmm. too. So sometimes that happens. Like they reach a, a fourth or fifth grade and they've, they've met their goals and um, so they exit. So. The initial IEPs that we have are usually, most of them are in the elementary school. Mm -hmm. uh, but they do have a really good system of interventions before they put a child on an IEP, so they try to do lots of different interventions ahead of time, so they don't just give them an IEP, mm -hmm. you know. I had boys on a speech IEP during mm -hmm. COVID, oh, where they had to yeah. mask. That was fun. Oh, yeah. So that's it. The, a speech IEP too is we we get a little extra dollars, but not not a ton. And why well, helped out twice? And we don't <laughs> we don't have to hire. We we the speech pathologists are through the AEA, so those that's a service from the AEA that we get. So, uh, but a lot of them exit from there. Mm -hmm. from speech. Yeah. And I would assume most of them are level one. Or yeah, the majority are. Um, mm -hmm. And then. Um, a level two is just just needs a little bit more. Might have a para. Level threes usually have a para with them, or just need some additional help. And level one and level two all stay on site, right? It, for stay. the most part, yeah. Okay. I mean, a level two could be, but they should be. If they go off site, then they should be made a level three, Joe, based on their needs. Well, I learned a lot. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Especially with Jade's good question. Thank you so much. Does <laughs> <laughs> someone like to? Uh, it's never going to go. Um, sorry. People are going to be like, she is genuinely an idiot. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Not, I swear. Uh, would someone like to make a motion to approve the special education contract with Alpha School, Nebraska Human Services Agency? Heavens, yes. I'd love to move on. That. <laughs> Thanks, Jade. Okay. We got the second by Greg. All those in favor, aye. 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 And those opposed, nay. Okay, and item number five is select a delegate for special delegate assembly on September 13, 2022. This is probably a slam dunk, isn't it? Well, I think we have our delegate. <laughs> Actually, I, I have a commitment for that time period. Oh, okay. So we need uh, a, the. Is this for that? It's 6 p.m. on a uh, Zoom meeting. Uh, it sounds like oh. it's just going to be that one vote, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We might want to discuss that just a little bit. What is yeah. it regarding? Mm -hmm. Yes. They said. Oh, did, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Did you Did you read it? I did. Yeah. I thought Tell you were it. saying what is it regarding? Yeah. You please. Know. No. Go, or do you know? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, they. <laughs> yes, I do actually know. I read it. Yeah. Well, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> 
so the board of Iowa has decided to not renew, or they would like to have a special vote to not renew with the National <coughs> State School Board Association, correct? And that would be the first time we've done that. And so they're, it didn't give a, it showed some trends and some different things that we're not the only state actually mm -hmm. looking at doing that. Right. And some different various reasons why. And so they want a special vote mm -hmm. on that with other it's got to be a timely manner. They've got to amend the bylaws by a certain yeah. time frame. That's yes. why they can't wait till November. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who was this? Where we? It's an email from the Iowa School Board Association that we get a newsletter monthly, or I get to my email. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did send uh, this out agenda for special delegate assembly. That email. Along the email? Lines. Yes, uh, it was attachment. Uh, it's kind of interesting because I think on a lot of the national level and even the state level, level, I think sometimes the board is on the fringes. You know, I guess we see the administrators getting a lot of benefit by the Iowa Association of School Boards. The national, I guess it's, uh, you know, I'm not so much aware of what they do, but I think this is kind of interesting. Uh, you know, one of the things they put on the very last sheet, is it shows the memberships of state school board associations uh, and the uh, orange is this new, <coughs> they call it the Consortium of State School uh, Board Associations. And you can notice uh, that there's, they, I think they said 25 states have dropped out of the National Association in favor of this new association. And you can see some of the, the bigger places like New York, Oregon, and Washington sticking with it. And what they object to is uh, there's, Policies being made that the uh, each state is not able to uh, discuss or have a vote on, and, and I think that's the reason why uh, Iowa Association of School Boards is objecting to the the blue, <laughs> and so they want to be orange in the future. You know, so I think it might uh, uh, that vote, I suppose, will be the discussion will be about that. Yeah, it is good information if you want to read it. Hmm. I thought it was. Did you find out about? Uh, uh, Independent versus the consortium. No, I looked on there. I, I tried on that, and I just couldn't find enough information on which way to go. It seems like uh, the some of the more populous mm -hmm. states, Texas mm -hmm. and California, and, and like Minnesota, they're they're going independent because they have the I don't know, population base to enable them to throw their muscle around. While a smaller state, we probably want to get with other states so we have a voice. That's my take, but it was, I, I didn't get a whole lot of information. So that's what this Tuesday, September 13th at 6 p.m. Uh, so our meeting delegate is about the Zoom meeting. Would vote you. the way we all agree? That uh, would be, yeah, because he's the representing, or whoever, mm -hmm. they're representing us. So we have to decide if we agree and who's going to say that on the Zoom. Probably. Or, is, okay. is that the way you interpret it? Well, that's the way That's the way it's been. I mean, I, yes. So I sat with... Um, did you go last No, time? I didn't no, go. I, I was gone. Alan. Was it Al? And Joe. But we, we oh, just, just watched, watched, right? And then Al, Al was the voting. Was the voter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is a recommendation, really, from the Iowa Association of School Boards. Mm -hmm. Is that Two. correct? Yes. The way I read yes. it. Uh, and so I guess it's either supporting their recommendation because of the way they see things or not re uh, recommending for their uh, recommendation. <laughs> I would say they have some pretty smart people that this is what they do for a living, that they probably are advising us to the best of their ability. I don't see a problem with it. What's your thoughts, Greg? Well, I'm all about breaking away. Let's be rebels. <laughs> <laughs> Football coach. <laughs> it sounds logical. Yeah, to me, it sounds Jonah. like in our best interest to break away. The consortium or independent, I'm not really sure on, but if they recommend the consortium, I, I'd go with that. And I honestly, do not have the information or know about it, but um, without actually seeing it, I would go along with that's what the state is recommending. That 
you want me to send feel? that link out to you guys on Friday? Did it come to case? your high school, your school email? Yes. Huh. Do I get one monthly, sometimes more, if they have more information? Don't do you. Huh. I get one from a rural. I need, I need yeah, like yeah, I get that rural one. Do you guys so do we have any volunteers to be the special delegate? When Everybody was the evening be again? September 13th. Was that right at yeah. 6 p.m.? Joe's going to be tied up. Yeah. I, I, I mean, if nobody else can, I will. It's, it's just a Zoom meeting at 6 o'clock. It's going to be very quick. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you expect that will be pretty quick? Oh, yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> the way it read, is that they're just going to uh, mm -hmm. have the call to and do a vote. It's That's it. my take. Mm -hmm. And they may have you vote on the phone. That's what they did. Remember, that's what they did last year, right, Joe? You voted on your phone. Yeah. Should just let me see if I'm signed up for that. Oh, yeah. Should we for that website? Should we? Bonnie's not here. Can we volunteer him? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was or trying Al. to think of something like that. Yeah. 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 I don't think I'm going to go in there. Joey Sue Larson at Gmail. Oh, I need to change shall that. We, shall shall Tuesday, we, uh, so the odds are would it be appropriate to say that? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, we'd have to get back together or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would do it. I'll, I'll find the time. What's that? Should we uh, should we ask Al first and uh, secondary could be Joe? Would that is that possible to do that? Sounds like he can't. usually. Um, I'm sorry. So Joe, you're going to do it if Al can't. Correct. Okay. So we have a backup. If everybody's plan. okay with that. Yeah. Perfect. Any discussion? How about a motion then to um, select the, for the selection of the delegate for special delegate assembly on September 13, 2022, to select Al Hazelton and uh, secondarily, uh, Joe Hersper. So, so, so moved by Jay, second by Joe me. Thank you very much. You All those in favor say aye. 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 And Joe. aye. Joe. Those opposed, James, no. Aye. Thank you. Technically, that'd be alternate. Yes, okay. I got it. Go. Thank, you. Thank you. Al's not here. Keep me on target, Joe. <laughs> 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 okay. We're on action item. Uh, six, the policy review schedule, the first reading. And it goes from 404 to 406.4. Um, and I think we have a number of people that are on that uh, job. So any discussion on the, the first reading of the policy review? It seemed pretty straightforward to me. Does anybody else over here on it? I read them, but... I can't remember if I'm honored or supposed to be honored or not on, but I was on. I just would go by the name. <laughs> <laughs> Your name's on here. <laughs> <laughs> Your name's on it, but I don't know if that means I'm on it. Yeah. Okay. Not this month. Not the, not Next month time. it'll be. <laughs> not this time, but I was on it. <laughs> okay. Well, can we have a uh, motion to uh, approve the policy review schedule first reading? So moved. So moved by Joe. Second. Have a second by Greg. All those in favor say aye. 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 And those opposed, nay. Okay, next we have action item E7, policy review schedule second reading, uh, four point, excuse me, 406.4 and onward. Uh, and so discussion on that. I will, I will, hey, Joe, you know last time you had the question about the finance committee and the audit committee? Yes. We are just taking that whole line out because we don't have an audit committee and um, we don't have a lead of yeah. it. It's just three. A chair. Yeah, a chair. chair. So we're just going to take that sentence out. Perfect. Okay. And that's what Brian said. Brian, yes, Brian we talked to so. the man. Yes, because he wasn't here that last time. Oh. And he also said historically they haven't had an audit committee either, so he didn't. He wasn't sure why why that was in there. So. 
don't they just take most of it from the state policies? Oh, a lot of been from right. yeah. Yeah. Like cut and paste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we should have just dated that. Should I mention anything mm -hmm. about the uh, school calendar? I don't know if you want to throw that in the next one or something, Catherine. Um, That's, that was the 601.01, I think was just it was, uh, it was missed in there. Yeah, so I can either do that or yeah, we, can, we can move it to the next one. Okay. She's going to change the game. Okay. Any other comments, discussion? Could we have a motion to uh, approve the policy review schedule second reading? So moved. So moved by Greg. Second. Second by Joni. All those in favor, aye. 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 And those opposed, nay. Next we have uh, E action item eight, consent agenda. Is there any discussion or questions on the consent agenda? Who's on finance? Hazelton and Albertson. Which are we on two months? Because I was last month too. Oh, I read it. So I did. If you're not, it's good practice. <laughs> I, did you have any questions? I always have questions. But <laughs> anything that you, you nothing pertinent. <laughs> 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 Just add everything yeah. together. Because I usually three or four pages, it was less than two. No. <laughs> Just a lot of renewals of like memberships and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, big, big budget items. Yeah. Well, and it'll change when school starts. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. With no other discussion, can we have in a motion for the approval of the consent agenda? So moved. So moved by Joe. And seconded. I'll second. By Jay. All those in favor, aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Okay, we are to the best part of the meeting. H, the adjournment. <laughs> <laughs> Would anyone like to make a motion? It is your strongest suit. <laughs> <laughs> so strong suit. Would anyone like to make a motion to adjourn <laughs> our meeting for this evening? And we so do, moved. by the way, have a workshop afterwards. So. I'll second. Motion made right. by Grady. Right. Right. Seconded by Jade. All those in favor, aye. Aye. And those aye. opposed, nay. Very good. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs>